talking about digital portfolios, do I have to have several versions of my portfolios if I am sending or applying for a particular field, particular area, or if it's going to go for an academic application, or if I'm sending my portfolio as a consultant? And stick with me in this video, we're going to talk about that digital portfolios options. So let's get started. Digital portfolios are extremely valuable and easy to spread your experience. You go online. I'm going to post here some links and also uh, below this video of uh, free tools that you can create your digital portfolio. Canva is not paying me to promote them, but Canva is an amazing tool and you do not need to pay for the premium one. You can start using the free version to work on your, on your digital portfolio. Actually, a portfolio showcases, you can organize, I like to organize, uh, starting by my newest one, experience or work or a showcasing a project, and I go towards the end to the oldest one. That's how I would recommend you to set up your digital portfolio. And the question is, if I need more than one, my answer is yes, just as we prepare different cover letters for different applications and also we change our resume structure depending on the type of jobs we're applying it's really rare and I do not recommend sending every single document that you have prepared as they are and identical to every single application you work on no no but we're gonna talk about types of resumes in another video so let's go back to our digital portfolio and the answer is yes if you are creating a portfolio and and you're sending to potential clients, it needs to have the language that connects with your client and showcase you. It showcases you as an expert, as an authority in your field to encourage that person to hire you as a consultant. If you're sending your portfolio as an appendix of a job application. Sometimes if you're applying online, most of the applications, 99%, they're online and you have that particular places where you upload your cover letter, resume, and sometimes you have extra. You can absolutely upload there and it will vary according to each area. So this question came from a professional who is an architect and she navigates into three different fields or different different subdivisions of her work as a consultant, as a college professor, and also as an architect serving the general public and serving companies. So my recommendation to her, yes, keep it small. The first version I saw that she sent me had 30 pages. Nowadays, people, us, our time is really precious and it's hard to get attention. So it's not everyone that are going to be actually reading 30 pages. It's a lot. Keep this big one as your reference, as the place to go to extract the most important information about your journey, about your competencies, expertise, and professional experience, etc. But for the each area, for the each subdivision of your work, make it simple five pages maximum a digital should be as short as a resume but as you can show more details so maybe five pages no more than five pages and at the end you can mention on your digital portfolio that upon request you're more than happy to provide the full version the complete version 30 page version which i don't know if they're gonna ask or not again people they're very now they're very careful about their time. Yes, I think it's a great tool and I really recommend to clients, students, a digital portfolio. It's great, but as we've been seeing on resumes, keep it short, keep it simple, and keep it concise, straightforward. 
Does that make sense? I'm Carolina Borges. I'm a college professor and a career mentor and a consultant. If you find value in my content, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel to hit the bell to be notified every time a new video pops up. And you're more than welcome to comment here below to send your question to have you sent your digital portfolio when applying for a job. If yes, how was the experience? I'm gonna see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Ciao. I hope that this video helped you to think in a different way how you can improve your chances to get more clients and to get your interview. Bye-bye.